Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So last two videos I have explained about the foreign exchange market. I have explained the keywords used and the codes for different currencies. Apart from that meaning of foreign exchange market and uh, what, who are the participants in foreign exchange market and what is the uh, structure of foreign exchange market in India. All these things I have already explained in the last two videos. So if you have not watched, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject international finance, select the starting first and second videos, be perfect, then this video. So remember, before going to problems, you must have the knowledge, concepts about the international finance. So I suggest you watch all the theory videos, then only we'll start the problem. That will be better for you. Now, before explaining about, so in this video, a very important topic called spot market and forward market, I'm going to explain. So before starting, take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain. Now, the two very important segments of the foreign exchange market are spot market and forward market. So first of all, we'll discuss about what is spot market. Very simple, spot market is a market where the currencies are exchanged and the contract is completed immediately on the spot. But the transaction will be settled in two days. So spot market is a market where transactions are conducted for the spot delivery of customers, currency, sorry. So when currencies are delivered on the spot, it is called spot market. Here spot delivery means the delivery after two days, the spot contract is closed. When the spot transaction contract is closed within two days, the delivery and payment should be completed within two days. That is called spot market. The rate at which one currency is exchanged for another currency is called exchange rate. So very frequently we come across the word exchange rate means the rate at which one currency is exchanged for another currency. Example, Indian rupees. How many Indian rupees we require to get one dollar? That is called exchange rate. Now the exchange rate for immediate delivery is called spot exchange rate. Again, we have two types of exchange rate, spot exchange rate and forward exchange rate. So first of all, spot exchange rate is the rate at which the spot delivery and payment will be made immediately. That is called spot exchange rate. The market where purchase and sale of currency is contracted for spot is called spot market. Where the transaction is completed and delivery and payment will be made within two days. That is called spot market. Now in a free float system, free float system means the price is not regulated. The price will be fixed. The rate will be fixed by the demand and supply. So if there is a free float system, the spot rate is fixed by the interaction of the demand and supply just for any goods. The price of goods are fixed in a competitive market by the uh, interaction of demand and supply. Same in the foreign exchange market also we have supply of foreign currency, we have demand of foreign currency. So demand and supply of foreign currency will fix the spot exchange rate. So these are the things you have to remember about the spot exchange rate. Now quotations at the spot exchange rate. Quotation means the price. The price is called the quotation. The quotation is the amount of a currency necessary to buy or sell a unit of another currency. How much amount of currency we require to get one unit of foreign currency? That is called quotation. Example, rupees 80 per dollar. Simple example I am giving. Rupees 80 per dollar. That is the quotation. Because to get one dollar, we need 80 rupees. So simply 80 rupees is equal to one dollar. That is quotation. The quotes are normally made in the form of buy and sell. Or uh, bid and ask. See here. Two types of prices are there. Purchase price and selling price. For any goods, the seller, the dealer, the trader will have two prices, the price at which he bought the goods and the price at which he will sell the goods. Similarly, in foreign exchange market also we have the 
purchase price of foreign currency and the selling price of foreign currency. The purchase price, the buying price is called the bid price and the selling price is called the ask price. The buy or bid quote in price in which exchange dealer is ready to buy the currency. The sell or ask quote indicates the price at which the dealer is ready to sell. So ask rate means the price at which the dealer is ready to sell and bid price means the price at which the dealer is ready to buy because in the market we are having the buyers as well as sellers. Simple example the importer. The importer needs foreign currency so he is the buyer of foreign currency. Exporter he has exported and he has he got to the foreign currency he wants to sell the foreign currency. So importers will buy the foreign currency, exporters will sell the foreign currency. So two different rates are given. Spread or cost of transaction. Already in the previous video I, have, I told you spread is the difference between bid price and ask price. The difference between bid and ask is called spread. So when quotes are direct, there are two types of quotations, direct quotation, indirect quotation. Direct quotation, number of units of home currency for one unit of foreign currency. And indirect quotation, number of units of, of uh, sorry, number of units of foreign currency for one unit of home currency. That is called indirect quotation. So suppose if the quotation is direct, spread is equal to ask minus bid. And if the quotation is indirect, then bid minus ask. And if you want the percentage spread, because in the coming problems, we are required to calculate the spread and we are also required to calculate the percentage spread. So percentage spread is equal to ask minus bid divided by ask into 100. This is the formula to calculate percentage spread. Now, second segment of the market, very important segment is the forward market. So far we have discussed about spot market. Now forward market, what is forward market and what is foreign uh, forward exchange rate? That's what we are going to discuss. So this segment of market is a very important part which makes the foreign exchange market very vibrant. The foreign exchange market is not stagnant. It will fluctuate. Every second, every minute the rates are fluctuating, the quotations are fluctuating. So what makes this market fluctuating, vibrant? this forward market. On account of forward market, the market has become more vibrant or dynamic. Now in this market, the forward contracts are bought and sold. In spot market, spot contract. In forward market, forward contracts are bought and sold. Forward contract means the buyer and seller wants to buy or wants to sell in future. Not at present. Not at the spot. Now, uh, hedging and speculation are the main activities which pertain to forward market. So normally, the present, immediately if you want foreign currency, immediately if you want to convert foreign currency, we have spot market. But in a, a business organization, a multinational company, they want to hedge their business. Hedge means protect. Protect the business against foreign exchange fluctuations. That is called hedging. So for hedgers, this forward market is very much beneficial. Similarly, speculators are there who wants to take the advantage from market conditions. So they will enter into forward market. So main hedging and speculation are the main activities in this forward market. Now forward exchange rate. In forward market, we have forward, forward exchange rate. Spot exchange rate is different forward exchange rate is different. Now here the exchange rates for delivery and payment at specified future dates. The rate at which the transaction is to be completed in future. That means delivery of currency and payment will be made in future. Example, two parties come into contract on 1st January. On 1st January, both A party, B party enter into a contract to buy and sell foreign currency. But the transaction is going to take place on 31st March. The contract is entered on 1st January, but the contract is going to be completed on 31st March. 
so this contract which is made now the rate is fixed now the delivery and payment will be made afterwards right so the exchange rate for delivery and payment at specified future dates are called forward exchange rate the rate at which the forward contract is to be completed that is called forward exchange forward exchange rate in other words the rate at which future transaction are contracted the rate at which the future transaction are contracted in the present contracted in the present for future delivery of foreign currency is the forward rate here definition i have given about forward rate the rate at which the foreign currency will be delivered and payment will be received in future the contract is made now the rate is called forward exchange rate the market where purchase and sale of currencies are contracted in the present for the receipt and delivery in future is called forward market so what is this market it is the market where the contract is made now the rate is fixed now for the delivery and payment to be conducted on a future date on a future date and the market in which this transaction is conducted is called forward market now the forward exchange rates are determined by forward demand and forward supply of various currencies in the spot market the present demand and present supply will fix the spot exchange rate whereas in forward exchange rate we have to expect how much would be the supply how much would be the demand of foreign currency on a future date example at the time of 1st january both the parties will expect what would be the exchange rate after 3 months so according to their expectation they will fix they will fix the price a says uh, after 3 months the price of dollar will be 84 rupees so this is the expectation for this expectation both a and b has entered into a contract so this exchange rate is called forward exchange rate now for example here i have explained you the forward rate with an example if you uh, understood this example definitely you can get a good grasp on this spot market and forward market for example an indian exporter of software an indian exporter of software he has developed one software he is exporting this software to another country now who expects to receive payment in dollars after 3 months seek to reduce risk so this indian exporter he is exporting software to us and expecting in dollar the payment in dollar after 3 month but he seeks to reduce the risk because the exchange rate may fluctuate in future so it may be positive or it may be negative so this exporter may incur loss or may get the profit due to fluctuation in the exchange rate so in order to seek to reduce risk to an unfavorable movement of exchange rate in the future by contracting a sale of dollars in the future so this software exporter want to protect the business against the risk of foreign exchange fluctuation now in order to reduce the risk he entered into a forward contract suppose exporter goes to a bank and says that i want to sell dollars after 3 month the ba banker was ready the banker is also ready to buy the dollars after 3 month the rate is fixed now now after 3 month this exporter will sell the dollars and the banker will buy the dollars at the exchange rate which is fixed now this contract is done mainly to protect to the business against the risk now in this process is guarantees future price of dollar in terms of rupees by entering into this contract he will be secure he knows how much amount of dollars he is going to get a foreign currency is said to be at forward premium if its future value exceeds its present value in terms of domestic currency and it is said to be a discount if the converse is true this is very important you must know whether the foreign currency is going at premium or foreign currency is going at discount on this topic many problems we are going to solve so how to find out if the forward price is more than the spot price then we can say the foreign currency is going at premium 
सिंपल एग्जाम्पल स्पॉट रेट एटी रुपीज पर डॉलर एंड द फॉरवर्ड रेट इज एटी फाइव रुपीज पर डॉलर दैट मीन्स फॉरवर्ड रेट इज मोर देन द स्पॉट रेट इन अदर वर्ड्स डॉलर इज गोइंग एट प्रीमियम इन द फॉरवर्ड मार्केट कन्वर्सली इफ द फॉरवर्ड प्राइस इज लोअर देन द स्पॉट प्राइस फॉरवर्ड प्राइस इज लोअर देन द स्पॉट प्राइस the foreign currency is going at discount example presently 80 rupees per dollar and the forward rate after 3 month is 75 rupees per dollar that means the forward rate is less than the spot rate we can say the dollar is going at discount that point you remember example also i have given if the spot rate between rupees and dollar is 80 rupees per dollar and 3 months forward rate is 85 rupees per dollar forward rate is more that means the dollar is going at premium these rates imply that dollar foreign currency is at premium and rupees is at discount in the forward market when one currency is at premium the other currency is at a discount dollar is going at premium so rupee is going at discount if the forward rate is more than the spot rate finished now premium and discount in forward rate in the problem in the coming problem we have to deal with this topic of finding out the premium or discount on forward market so here a forward uh, forward currency is said to be a foreign currency is said to be selling at a forward discount when the forward price of foreign currency is lower in terms of domestic currency than its spot rate so to compare you compare the spot rate with the forward rate if the forward rate is lower then we can say the foreign currency is going at discount conversely a foreign currency is said to be selling at a premium when its forward price is higher when the forward price is higher the foreign currency is going at premium so how to find out the percentage the premium or discount in foreign currency for a period is calculated as follows positive if you get premium negative if you get that is discount so what is the formula F minus S by S into 100. F stands for forward rate, and S stands for spot rate. So F minus S by S into 100. This will give you the percentage of premium or discount. But if you want annualized premium, suppose this is for three month. This premium or discount you have calculated for three month. Now if you want annualized premium, so formula will be F into S by S into 12 by N. n stands for number of months so here premium you have calculated for 3 month so 12 divided by 3 into 100 you will get annualized percentage of premium or discount so in this video i have explained you about spot market spot rate forward market forward rate and then spread i have explained you apart from that premium or discount in the forward market so this is very important if you understood this it will be easier while doing the problems so inshallah if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel and subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video